Hey everyone, this is Video Game Lover here. I'm outside as you can see because I'm watching uh, Lokito playing around with him in the backyard. But got some breaking news that honestly should not be shocking to everyone. Um, E3 has officially been canceled uh, this year. I mean, is this really shocking news? Of course not. I knew that E3 was going to be canceled, especially after the news that um, Microsoft and uh, Nintendo weren't going to be there. So it was like, it was only going to be like Square, Capcom, Sega, um, Ubisoft that was going to be there. And then now apparently I heard that Sega and I think it was Ubisoft that bailed out. They ended up not wanting to go to E3. And it was like once that happened, the writing was all over the wall. So E3 2023 has been officially canceled. Not even surprised on the news. We already know that probably in the summertime, Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft will do their own thing. You know, and I stated this in the past in my last video I did about E3, but, you know, we owe Nintendo an apology. Because I remember 10 years ago, a lot of people gave them a lot of hell for their decision of not going E3. But... Really, what they did was they saw the writing in the wall. They, they just felt like E3 was going to die soon. And lo and behold, they ended up being right. You know, it's like, what's the point of E3 where they could just show off their trailers on the YouTube and get many, many more uh, views? You know, like the Sony PS5 reveal they did in uh, 2020 got like over, what, 30 million views, I think? I could be way wrong on that. I'm just saying. The Switch reveal, remember the Switch reveal when Nintendo unveiled the Switch in 2016? That got over 50 million views, and that wasn't even in E3. So, the writing was on the wall, people. E3 is pretty much dead. And honestly, I think it's dead for good. I don't think it's ever coming back, and it should not come back. It's done. It's a relic of its time period. What's done is done, man. I love the E3. I do. But there's no reason to do E3 anymore. Especially with um, all the live streaming of the Nintendo Direct, Sony State in Play, Microsoft Summerfest, and all of those. So, there's really no reason for E3 to even go on. So, nothing new. I mean, I knew that this was going to happen. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoy your rest of your Thursday. Take it easy and stay safe. Video Game 158, sign off. Peace.